future after continuing at a given point. For example, I shall have been completing my first year by next two months. A good example is I shall have been completing my first year by next two months. I, ha I shall have been completing my class by next 10 minutes. So, a good example is I shall have been completing my first year by next two months. I shall have been completing my first year by next two months. So, friends, I think you got a good clarity about present tense, past tense and future tense. So, I will ask you a question to you. How we get future tense? Yeah, by adding shall or will to the present form of the verb, we get future tense. So, how we get future tense? By adding shall or will to the present form of the verb, we get future tense. So, friends, now let us discuss about verbs once again. So, set, let us discuss about verbs once again. So, friends, here I want to say you about all the verbs again because most of the people will confuse in using verbs. They will confuse in using verbs. So, most of our swearers, our friends are afraid of English, isn't it? They are afraid of English. To remove that afraidness, to remove that fear, I am here to explain you tenses. So, now let us discuss about few verbs. For example, go, went, gone. Go, went, gone. Go is the present form of the verb. Went is the past form of the verb. Gone is the past participle form of the verb. Most of our friends think that Pre, uh, go is the present form. They think it is as correct and went is the past form. Then if we ask about future form, they will say that gone. Is it correct? No, it is wrong. Most of us doing the same mistake. Even I too make that mistake. So, we should not say past participial form of form as future. So, it is just partis past participial. So, by adding will or shall to the present form of the verb, we get future form. See, here we can see I will go, I shall go, he will go. So, it is a future action. It is a future action. So, friends, now let us discuss about the next verb that is eat, ate, eaten. What is that? Eat, ate, eaten. So, repeat it with me again. Eat, ate, eaten. It is the present form of the verb, this is the past form of the verb and this is the past participial form of the verb and these verbs are called as irregular verbs. So, listen to me again, these verbs are called as irregular verbs because you can observe a change between past form of the verb, past participial form of the verb and present form of the verb. So, there is no regularity between those verbs. So, we call that verbs are as, we call that verbs as irregular verbs and these verbs are also called as strong verbs. What verbs? Strong verbs. So, now let us see the next few examples. Those are work, worked and worked. Work, worked and worked. Talk, talked and talked. Talk, talked and talked. Friends, here is an irregularity between verbs. Just by adding ed to the present form of verb, we got past and past participial form. Just by adding ed to the present form of the verb, we got past and past participial form of the verb. So, these are called as regular verbs. So, because they are, there is a regularity in between those verbs. So, these are called as regular verbs. Now, friends, these verbs are also called as weak verbs. Please note it. These verbs are also called as weak verbs. So, friends, before conclusion, I want to say you one thing that if you want to interact me, if you have any doubts or if you want to ask any questions to me, you can ask me after my conclusion. So, friends, see here. So, dear friends, though there are three tenses, they are, what are they? Present tense, past tense and future tense. What are those three tenses? Present tense, 
past tense and future tense we must add shall or will to the present form of the verb so repeat it with me shall by adding shall or will to the present form of the verb we get future form but not pa past participial is not a future form of the verb remember it and the second one is uh, please give me example for future form of the verbs so i shall come it's a future form of the verb i shall come i will do i will do she will go what she will do will she go no it's an example she will do and coming to next one in perfect tenses we must use v3 form of the verb by adding have or has or had in perfect aspect of any tense either it may be present past or future in perfect aspect we must use v3 form of the verb we must use v3 form of the verb remember friends and friends it's the last time final thing i want to say you so i have given a general classification so i have given a good classification to you for general understanding for minimum speaking in english in our institutions in our society so friends thank you a lot thank you for your kind attention hello 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 hi who are you hi my dear friend hi who hello. are you please say hello. me your name I am Sunita Sero from Madhya Pradesh. So you are Sunita. Okay, hi Sunita. How are you? Thank you for calling me. Okay, friend, can you tell me? Could you tell me different regular verbs and and irregular verbs? So, ah, uh -huh. okay, friends. Thank, thank you, thank you for your good question. So you want difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs? Isn't it? Is it correct? yeah so i want to say you the difference between regular and irregular verbs again so friends i have already said you that see here regular and she want to know about regular and irregular verbs friend here you can see go went gone eat ate eaten the present form of the verb is different from past form of the verb and past participial form of the verb so there is no regularity between these verbs is there any regularity no there is no regularity between these verbs so we call those verbs as irregular verbs see friend if you see down we have add we have taken work and talk as example just by adding ed to the past and pa past participle just by adding ed to the present form of the verb we got past and past participial form so they were regular you can observe they are regular so we call such type of verbs or uh, we call such types of verbs as regular verbs and i have already said you friend uh, first form of the verb is irregular and strong verbs and second form of the verb is regular and weak verbs so thank you friend thank you for calling thank you friends thank you for your keen attention and I was very glad to say this lesson in front of all of you. I think I might, you might have understood my lesson. So thank you.